everyone, it's Pine Ridge Briars here. Welcome to my first video. This will be a Briar Stable tour. Here is Pine Ridge Stables. We do Western riding, vet assistance, jumping, and English riding, and barrel racing, and really anything like that. Here we have my pack. We have some green fuzzy fabric in the bottom to act like grass. We have a water trough and a hay trough. Then we have some blankets hung up over there and a little gate. Next we have my arena. This is Olivia and she's giving a lesson to Ashley on my Dunn Quarter Horse Classic Briar Jewel. And they're doing a bareback lesson. Here we have the arena schedule. Then we have some jumps and other accessories that I made along with the cones and everything in here. In here, it's filled with kinetic sand at the bottom of the arena to give it some texture and a little thickness. Next to the arena, we have the entrance to the stable. It's just a little metal bench that I have with some fencing. Right by the end of the paddock is my trailer. It just rolls out of this little spot where I keep it. It's a horse trailer that opens up in the back. The bottom opens too. There's two stalls in there, or whatever you want to call it. I don't know what they call the little stall-like things on the inside. The top opens up, if I can get it open. After struggling for a minute, I finally got it open. It has two stalls with a divider in the middle, and it has a little window right here, and the back doors with some little storage compartments in the bottom. The top part of the trailer folds down to have this little briar little thing right here, and it has like a little roof area for the riders to hang out. Next at the front, we have little stairs that fold down and two double doors with little compartments. That one has a little sticker of a magazine. The front chairs can swivel on both sides and have seat belts that actually work. And then the little wheel can slide from side to side so the dolls can get in and drive on whatever side they want. On the back of the chairs, they have these little netting compartments where you can put little magazines or whatever. Then we have this little rug here that when you press this little button, it folds up into a little table. And then it just and the little chair back here can pull out and fold down to become a little bed. It's like a camper van, but with a horse trailer. We have some little cup holders back here and some little stairs that can fold up. Above the front area, it opens up to a little TV of some cross country jumping show kind of going on with this little fold down window slash um, table thing and there's some storage it's like a shallow tray in here and the TV doesn't move but this can go up and down and clip this is just like a little sticker of a barrel racing horse that I put in here just for some decoration just shuts down and it looks like a little sunroof but when you hit it it just goes into there the trailer has small little storage compartments beneath it this is like a little feed tray thing that can slide under and then this in here is a storage for fencing 
but all my fencing is out. And that can just go back right in there. Next, we have the little vet area. Inside the vet, we have this little tile mat with a little feed tray. And in here, I have some little vet supplies. I have a little stethoscope for listening to the horse's heartbeat. I have a little syringe. This, I don't know what this is. It has a little popper on it. I just found it and put it in there. Then we have this cute little horse medicine and vitamin kind of feed. This opens on top, but I'm not gonna open it. Then we have this little thing that can go on a horse's leg. I have a random clip in here and just a little leg wrap kind of thing that I made. And then it can all fit in here. I'm gonna put it all in there. And shut the back. And then I just put the back. I don't really have a vet right now. But this is just some random storage. I have a little chair that went to this. And some clothes with another folded down chair in the back and just a random TV. By the vet stable, I have this wash stall that I'm working on. It has some pretty tiling on the bottom and some rails on the ends and a little faucet kind of thing I made. It has little hot blue droplets to look like tiny puddles of water just for a little addition to it. Next to the wash stall, I have my tack room. Here I keep shovels and brooms and stuff in this little container that is kind of stuck to the ground because I put it there with some sticky tack or glue tack. I have some, I have a little English saddle right here that I made. And then I have a little western saddle I made that can just sit right here. Here we have some western and English bridles with some lead ropes and such. Here we have hats and helmets and halters. We have the feed chart with a little tiny little briar model. I have a little table to put food on. Some grooming supplies. And um, this little thing that I have. I don't know if that critter is. In the grooming box, I got this from a briar set. This thing is kind of hard to get out. Let me try to get that out. Give me a sec. Finally got everything out. Here we have some like hoof oil or hoof conditioner. This keeps horses. Focus camera. My camera won't focus. It's just so tiny. But you, it doesn't open. It's stationary, but it's really cute. And that's in there. And I have a little brush. It says briar on it. It's really faint and hard to see, but there we go, you can sort of read it. And it's just like a little dandy brush. <laughs> then I have this little calico critter shampoo. Doesn't have a label on it. That didn't come with this set. And this little bottle didn't come with a set either. I just have it in there. Comes with a curry comb. Another little form of curry comb. I don't know what to call it. I never knew what to call it. We have like a file to file down a horse's hooves. A hoof pick. Some coat trimmers. These are really detailed. And just another big body brush. That also says bride. And it can all fit in the little caddy. It comes off its back in and goes right there. Next we have my mare stable. I have some little picture frames in there with some little storage space and a little hay loft with a ladder. I made this stable myself except for the wooden part. It was an old toy box. I have some little stickers on the edge and some more pictures with some little spots to hang things in the stalls with some hay bales up there. 
in every stall, I have little feeder spots. It's really dark in here. Let me go to the other one. Little, like, feed spots. I just cut up friendship bracelet twine kind of stuff to make the this is summer she's the classics palomino morgan horse she's really pretty and she came with a foal this is her foal treat treat is really cute Bella and Blue. They're both mares also. We have some cleaning supplies with some other stuff on the end. We have a small poster and this is the stallion stamp. This is Hunter. He's really pretty. I'm not going to try to take him out. And then this is Cole. He's the Classics Black Beauty model. And then this is our dog, Ranger. I just found him. And that's all in Pine Ridge Staples. It's a pretty small stable with few people and few horses. But we'll be having a new horse coming in soon. And I will have a surprise unboxing video for him. I hope everyone enjoyed this video of me taking you on a small little tour of my Briar Stable, and I will see you all in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe, and see you next time. Bye!